Here's a little video of my 1994 Dodge Ram that's for sale on eBay. Very clean, never been in salt. Southern truck. Pretty much I keep it parked in my barn most of the time. Interior is really nice. Five speed, air conditioning, cruise control, cruise works. Headliner is sagging just a little bit. I had this seat redone a few years ago has most all of its original stickers still just there is a little bit of clear coat and a little this is the worst spot of the paint but that could be pretty easily fixed just a really clean low miles 12 valve beautiful truck So has the original floor mats even. Carpet's in good condition. Passenger seat's pretty good. Probably not been sat in much. Dash is really, really good looking. I did put a little Pioneer Bluetooth unit in here with uh, the four speakers uh, still even has the original cigarette lighter and ashtray a little power outlet cup holders the dash was had two little cracks in it one is here it was repaired and the other one is on the passenger side. I keep this mat on here pretty much all the time. And there's the other little crack. Uh, air conditioning, power windows, power door locks. Still works. Door locks. Cruise even still works on this thing. Uh, this has an AFC Live and a trailer brake that's hooked up to that new seven pin in the bed. I had intentions of pulling an RV with this, but I decided not to buy an RV. So I'm selling this truck. I've owned it about uh, six or seven years now. It's been a really good truck. I'm an adult. I don't beat on my stuff i take really good care of things um just a real nice truck i would hope someone that bought this would enjoy it and not abuse it and park it in the winter hopefully i mean this thing is just it's clean there's 
I mean, it's just clean. I don't know what else to say. Here it start up here. Parking brake light still works. Starts right up every time. Idle's real nice. Sounds great. Tires have maybe 2,000 miles on them. They're really nice. Uh, Hankook USA tires, load range E. It's a really nice truck. I've driven this truck to Texas two or three times, to Virginia several times. Just this thing's never let me down. Just wanted to show the truck uh, starting and going through the gears and everything. Um, just show that it runs and everything shifts fine and all that kind of stuff. I don't know how good of a video this will be. I'm trying to drive and hold the phone at the same time, but to give you an idea. Starts right up. So I give it a try. It's pretty smooth for what it is. Plenty of power. thing definitely does not lack on power. Radio works. Shifting and uh, slowing down now. It's fourth. Third. Clutch holds everything pretty good. Second. first like all these trucks first is really a granny gear but it's there
these country roads are not not the best around here so the way I have these gauges set up um, this is the oil pressure here and uh, boost EGT and a temperature gauge and on an automatic truck you would have uh, your temperature here on the bottom but since this is a manual I went ahead and uh, hooked the temperature gauge to the coolant so I know exactly how warm the truck is now um, so the oil pressure gauge and the coolant gauge are disconnected right now because they're feed it into these gauges which gives me a much more accurate measurement um, here's the uh, brake controller um, I guess you'll be able to hear this on the video but that works these are vacuum controlled old school so you only get uh, one or two changes of this if the truck is not running um, so they're not electronic these are all vacuum control on these old trucks uh, right now I have the air conditioner belt off I run what I call a summertime belt uh, that just keeps the air conditioner from bearing from spinning all the time in the winter uselessly wearing it out faster uh, so right now I do not have the air conditioner belt hooked up i have it um just needs to be put back on for summer um everything in here works pretty much i didn't show the cruise control working but that works i drove all the way from here to texas with it working so uh the light it's pretty bright out right now so i'm not gonna be able to see the dash lights but they work um I'm gonna go over what all else is I'm sending with this truck. So I have a brand new 16,000 pound Husky fifth wheel set up. Like I said before, I intended to pull an RV with this, but kind of changed my mind. Um, everything is here. All the manuals for this are here. All the pins. Um, brackets uh the coupler everything's here the rails the bolts are in here um, to install this so this goes with the truck too i don't know remember what i paid maybe 450 or 500 dollars for this this is brand new i've never used it but this goes with the truck also it's this is specific to this truck so that's going with it all the manuals and everything are here for it and I'm sorry, I live in a really noisy place, right I'm in the middle of train tracks and a highway, so I'm trying to do the best I can with just me. So that goes with it. What else um, is going with it? I have all of the factory manuals, uh, and I mean all of them, down to. Um, everything basically uh, this is the supplement for the engine uh, talks about the new heavy-duty trucks and everything everything is still here this is all factory stuff I mean even the all the little books they send with it that goes with it uh, this is no longer in here anymore but it's, it's kind of part of the truck so here's the actual owner's manual it's in really good condition so that goes with it this is the 1994 warranty stuff all that's going with it even i guess they had michelin tires on it when they bought it this is all stuff that came brand new with the truck the only thing really i don't have is the original sticker so 
that's really the only thing that I do not have with this truck. In addition to that, I'm going to give the uh, Chrysler service manual for this truck, the 94 service manual. This is about, oh, I don't know, 2,000 pages. This is what the dealerships use when they repair vehicles. Um, that's probably worth 150 or $200 right there. I also have the Cummins repair book that's going to come with it. it. Has all the diagnostic procedures in here. So that comes with it also. This is stuff de the dealerships would have been using back then. Uh, this is for the chassis side of house again it's a good bit of money in books here um, I'm going to send along a Geno's garage catalog uh, it has some stickers and just other stuff in there some of the receipts for things I bought from them put on the truck so I'll send that and I'll send also a Ram LMC catalog that has a lot of good stuff in it as well. So all that goes with it. Here is my clean title. I have it in my hand. There's no lien or anything against it. That's me. There's the truck. So uh, no, no lien or anything. I own it. Sorry, not that well organized. And I have some tools that I will send along with the truck. Along with some other things. This is a timing wheel for setting timing on these trucks. This is a power driven diesel timing wheel. Here's the, what I call the summertime belt. It's a gator back nice belt I have all the airlines original to the truck these all get replaced when you put an AFC live on it I have a fuel pressure gauge I'll send along with a fuel snubber this goes right into the side of the injection pump for checking uh, lift pump pressure send that along with it This is a kit for, uh, this is the leftover stuff for when I rebuilt the vacuum pump with the gold kit. So the vacuum is very strong on this truck now. Uh oh, it's windy out here today. I'll hold this down a little bit. Oh, uh, I have a lot of things for this vehicle. Uh, delivery valve socket I'll send along with the truck you want to change them I will send the original delivery valves along also this is an injector puller for the truck I'll send that as well here's a Cummins barring tool this goes in the bell housing and engages the flywheel so you can turn the truck over manually when you're doing timing or messing with the injection pump or whatever this is a dummy injector for checking cylinder leakage and stuff like that hooks up to an air compressor these are all you know stuff mechanics could use to mess with the truck i'll send along this this is a flushing tool for uh the water the, the heater core i have a kit on there so you can just hook up a hose and flush it out um, I'll send along the original silencer ring with the truck. If that's something you're into, you want it quieter, I guess. This is part of the injector tool. Uh, there's all kind of stuff in here. Um, some leftover stuff from uh, the governor, the AFC. There's some... Uh, 
intake manifold bolt. Here's a few gaskets. There's for the intake manifold. Actually, that probably isn't. I'm not sure what that is. But this is for the intake manifold. If you've had a, if you've had this truck apart before, these kind of trucks apart before, you've probably seen these a million times. More parts. AFC guts. A lot of this stuff comes out when you put uh, new kits in. So these are not extra parts. Here's uh, more of the air tubing for the factory air turbo pressure. And there's a whole bunch. Uh, uh, here's two uh, brand new overflow valves. These control the pressure inside the injection pump. Uh, they're the pressure relief. Right now it has an adjustable torque tech on it, but these are fixed pressure units. Uh, even actually in the right bag. Here, the original delivery valves are in here. If for some reason you don't like what's in there, those are here. We even got those in the right bag. I try to stay pretty organized with things. And here is a whole bunch of uh, looks like injector return line, uh, copper gaskets, and all kinds of stuff. So all that's going to go with the truck. I don't know what this is. This is a manual for the overflow valve. It's set fine. It doesn't really need to be messed with. There's some other things in this bag. There's just all kinds of stuff. Receipts and just all kind of stuff that I've done to the truck and I pretty much save everything this is for the AFC stuff head head bolt gauge not even sure what these go to this is just all kind of paperwork and receipts for things just all kind of stuff I've saved over the years. Gauges, sensors. Kind of feel like a pack rat with all this stuff, but whoever buys this truck will appreciate it, it hopefully. So all this goes with the truck also. Um, I really like owning this truck, but I'm trying to put together some more money to move and um, so this has to go I have another truck already um, this truck is going to get parked in my barn as soon as I'm done with all this until the shipper or whoever buys the truck comes to get it um, please don't bid if you don't have the money if you bid you're committing to buy the truck you're not committing to like come look at it and you know understand how ebay works if you're going to bid and all that kind of stuff um i'm finally answering questions you can message me or whatever um so this, this is going to make somebody a really nice truck but uh it will be parked in that barn it's supposed to rain here tonight and i clean it up to take pictures and stuff so i don't want to get in wet but um yeah, happy bidding.